Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's top five camp build. The numbers are in. I have spent the last half an hour trying to decide who is the top five, who is the number one, and we finally got there. So if you enjoy, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new, that'd be lovely. And if you want to check out anyone involved, their links are down in the description. And if you want to get involved with your camp, all you got to do is make a video of it and get involved via the Discord. All you got to do is make a video, get in the Discord, share a link to your video. Easy as that. There you go, guys. Let's dive straight in to this week's top five camps, which was the monthly based on Raiders. Let's dive straight in. Attention, citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, open number five this week. We have a build by Maka. Now, look at this. This is absolutely genius. This is a Raider truck. Now, the fact that this is like the opening bit of the video, he comes in here. He's got like a little switch that works as like the engine ignition type of thing. Then he's got like the modular in the middle there working as like the dashboard. It looks absolutely brilliant. And this is one of the first builds I've seen this week. And straight away, I knew this week was going to be tough. It was going to be really hard. And look at it. It looks awesome. I really enjoyed it. Thought it looked brilliant. And I love what you did with the truck to like renovate it into uh, this mini little settlement type thing. Like a maneuvering or moving settlement. Looks awesome. I like the realism of it as well. Like you put them tires underneath to make it look like they're supporting the little platform above it. You've got a little turret up there as well to give that kind of defensive aspect. I love the use of the boarded up windows along the side as well to give it that kind of uh, junky type of feel to it. Like it's all been like just bashed together type of thing like you see a lot of raider stuff it is a lot of it is just absolutely battered to bits and put together but there's a lot of cool technical aspects of it of course you've got the main driving area down there which we've seen a second ago you've got a lot of conduit work going on as well that act as like climbing rails and ladders and stuff like that into the build but overall i just thought it looked brilliant really well done and looked really good so hats off dear maka Another little technical aspect of this one is he's actually built inside of the truck as well. So as you come up, you've got a cooking station that you've got to use to actually merge inside of it and stuff. Very nicely done with this, as you can see inside as well. It's got like the market set up in here. It's also got a power armor display and stuff like that. And looked really good. So very nicely done, Maka. Then round the back, we've got this awesome little ladder set up here. As you can see, he's, he's jetpacked into it. As, like, just there, I don't know what else to say about that. But yeah, jetpacked up the ladder rack that's been built out of conduits. Of course, we have seen that a few times. It's nothing new, but it always, always does look really good when it's been done. Inside, got lots of little decorations dotted around to fill out the place and stuff. And looks really good. So hats off to you, Maka. Congrats on number five. This is the inside. If you want to check out the video yourselves, the link for that is down below below but there you go all right guys up this week at number four and it is it was a very tough decision this is one by cover camps who in my opinion has absolutely and utterly nailed the raider look like I, this is the second time around now i just chose someone else's number four and then i said no this build can't be a number four and now i'm recording cover as number four and i'm sat here going how is this a number four like honestly these camps this week are just bloody stressful guys stressful for me right so please let me know in the comments the order in which you think these should go in because this is the number one build the one after this is the number one build the one after that's the number one the one after that's the number one they are absolutely ridiculous this is such an awesome looking camp i love the fact that you placed all the junk around everywhere to make it look like a really scrappy raider kind of paradise type of thing looks awesome the use of these mannequins as well on the wires hanging down was such a cool dark idea to kind of give off that raider feel how they've like punished and killed these brotherhood members and they've took over this area or something like that and it just looks awesome i absolutely love it i think it looks brilliant and just all around congratulations on number four mate it could deserve to be higher honestly i've lost my head at this point trying to choose these and put them in order was absolutely insane but hats off to you everyone that made it into the top five this week because it was extremely tight extremely tough and you all deserve a, a round of applause so yeah thank you for getting involved mate congratulations on number four all right guys over number three this week we have lady h with an insane bloody technical build like this is the one that i just said a minute ago i recorded number four and i was like no it can't be number four it's gonna have to be number three and then i watched cover and i was like oh god but anyways i've said that enough now but this is a build by lady h and it looks absolutely awesome this is a raider arena now just looking at it, a lot of you are probably thinking, especially if you're new to the game, how the bloody hell you done that then? Because that doesn't make sense, I can't make circles. There is a way of making circle builds and 
Lady H has nailed it with this one. She's done it on like an unlevel uh, ground and it's made it look as if the foundations have completely disappeared. And I think, to be fair, she might have made the foundations disappear. If you turn them all into doorways, you can remove the foundations. So she might have done it, made them like down into the ground a little bit. And that's why she's got the tires around the other side and bits and bobs to hide maybe like the floating edges of the other side. Not entirely sure, but maybe that is the case. You'll have to let me know, Lady H. But it looks awesome. If you haven't done that and the foundations are just hidden in the ground, that's even more impressive. Like, that, that'd be insane. Another crazy fact of this one, though, which I just can't work out, I'm presuming it's a blueprinting trick, is the stairways up above. Like, these things are not so, uh, central with the walls. Obviously, if you put down stairways, they're always central with, like, the floor piece that you put down. But these stairways here, there's like two to each wall that they're connected to, or touching, and they're just like sat there floating away. So I, I, I can't work out how you've actually done that one. I love the idea with the conduits though, join them together to make it like enclosed so the people in the arena can't climb out. The fact you've got the fences up on the top as well is genius. Like this entire build, like I wouldn't even know where to start, honestly. Like this is really, really impressive Lady Hitch. Really awesome build and very well could have been a number one. So hats off to you, Lady H. This is unbelievable, 10 out of 10 build. Really should be proud of this one because it looks awesome. This is a little look inside now. You've got this little awesome alleyway going through there with the uh, walls going through there and stuff. But this is the bit here, like circular build. Look at it, bloody insane. I don't know what you've done. I don't know if you maybe didn't actually blueprint it. Maybe you went round with foundation by foundation, putting down each and every wall at a different angle, trying to join them all up and turn them into doorways. And that's why you've got this. I I don't know. I, I can't work it out. Maybe that's what you did. I'm not sure. But either way, it looks absolutely awesome. Really good stuff, Lady H. Thank you for getting involved and congrats on number three. All right, guys. So up at number two this week, we have a build by Jack O'Mara. Now, I was recently talking with Jack O'Mara in game and he showed me this spot, but at the time he didn't actually have a camp built or anything like that. He just had some foundations down. He was using a glitch where you can go and basically like place down an item and then put your camp on top of it or something like this and keep doing it and doing it. And you get to a really high level and this is where he's got. He's got above foundation. Months and months ago now, me and Jack O'Mara, we were trying to jump on top of the flag because according to rumor, you can put your camp module down on top of the foundation flag. So we were trying for hours trying to jump on top of it and we never got there. And then Jack O'Mara found out the trick. He got up there and he's done this and it looks awesome. This is like a kind of Zeppelin type of thing. Obviously Raider themed to match in with the competition this week. This bit of the <laughs> recording is just absolutely beautiful. I love the fact you walked into the door there, Jack O'Mara. I had a good laugh when I first watched it. But it looks awesome. The build itself is insane. The fact that you're floating in the sky, the fact that you've got like uh, angled walls that they're not square or anything. You've got an area where the actual control panel of the ship is. That's like at an angle. You've got like that little bit underneath where you've got a steel pole coming down with a floor on the bottom. There are so many things in this build, again, where you look at it and you just think, how on earth are you doing this? This is insane. The amount of time and effort and energy you must have put into this is crazy and it looks amazing. Like when I first watched this, I was thinking, bloody hell, straight away, this is number one. And like I said, guys, this week, honestly, I've been sat there for ages trying to come up with some order to put these in and I just, I, it's hard. This is the order I've come up with though. This is number two and it looks awesome. Love it. Looks brilliant. Hats off to you, Jack O'Mara. Again, with another insane build. Jack O'Mara is just a genius when it comes to building. He does some crazy weird stuff. But yeah, this is another build by him. If you want to check it out, go and do so by the link in the description. For now though, let's go and check out who made number one in this bloody crazy daft week. All right guys, so at number one this week, we have a Raider Settlement by Cleveland. Now this one is just absolutely beautiful. The theme of the week was technically speaking, the uh, Arida settlement and some of the builds this week arguably weren't settlements but you know you work with what you've got and arguably you know people could fight the case and say they are the Arida settlement so fair enough you know but this is like literally the definition of a Raider settlement in my eyes. It looks insane. I love the use of the Acton and stuff as well. Cleveland is in the gang of the Uranium Fever. So of course it's going to be beautifully acted out and everything like that. 
But look at it, the shape of it, the size of it is insane. The bloody overall look of the place is awesome. Like, I love how you've done this area over here with all the bits and bobs dumped on top of each other and merged in there. Looks awesome, like lots of cool different designs. You've got like uh, the radios that were backwards on the top shelf. But overall, it just looks brilliant. It really does define and look like what literally is a real settlement so you absolutely nailed the theme nailed the look it looks awesome and lots of really cool mergers going on here guys if you haven't been spotting them throughout there was one with like three different workbenches in each other or something like a coupon station uh, armor workbench and uh something else i think and it looks insane so hats off to you mate congratulations on number one and that ladies and gentlemen was this week's top five camps it was a stressful week it was an extremely hard week for choosing the top five camps like even looking back now after re-watching them all to uh, review them and I'm just like, how, how have I made this decision or what? But honestly, insane week, like mind blown. But thank you guys, really did enjoy watching all them, reviewing them all. Hope you did enjoy too, if you did hit the like button. And of course guys, if you want to keep up with, with all these crazy builds being built, subscribe that would be fantastic now going under a little shout out bit to everyone that got involved we've got uranium fever in the form of cleveland this week we've got jack amara uh ryan to you we've got eden star hillbilly we've got lady h kielestra uh journey through the darkness milney maca cover as well and there you go guys that was this month's uh, competition. I haven't got a new competition yet. I've been super busy as you guys probably can tell these last couple of days and I haven't had time to come up with one. But I will be coming up with one the next couple of weeks so stay tuned for that. For the time being we'll be going back to the weekly top five cam showcases. So if you want to get involved with that make a video send in the discord. I'll have a look at them. If I like them you'll get shown up. Stuff like that. But anyways thank you all for watching guys. Have a great day and enjoy your weekend. Bye bye. Attention citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. Big. Big.